there, wonderful viewers. I thought you'd like to know about a whole new class of high altitude, long endurance aircraft that have recently been built. Inspirational. Lightweight. Cutting edge. Innovative. Breathtaking. Awesome. Outstanding. Incredible. This is Airbus's Zephyr S, an unmanned long endurance aircraft that has just beaten the world record of 26 days in the air. My personal highlight was I be able to launch the aircraft and see it take off in the air. That was very exciting. During flight, I work as the tail assist in the hand launch team, so I support the tail while we're getting ready to lift it and launch it. Outside of flight, I'm mostly working in maintenance, so I get the aircraft fully prepared and assembled before flight. For me, the personal highlight is to be able to come out of college and work on such a cool program. It's really exciting for me, and as well as being able to get hands-on so soon, um, everybody's been really trusting and really great at training me up to be a great engineer. A combined team of US military and Airbus technicians have flown this amazing aircraft out of the Yuma test range in Arizona. Seeing the aircraft launch uh, the very first time, all the hard work really paid off. It was fantastic. A typical aircraft is you know, a lot more responsive. You're actually manipulating flight controls. Um, but with the Zephyr, uh, you're flying it with a mouse and keyboard, which is you know, totally different from a normal aircraft. The Zephyr you know, handles a lot of the actual flying itself. Um, we're more just telling it where to go and then making sure that everything is performing nominally. 26 days in the air is a very long time. And they got a bit bored. <laughs> so to celebrate various milestones of this momentous flight, they drew patterns in the air, including the number 26 for the 4th of July, the American flag, and this symbol, which I think is either the Liberty Bell or the symbol Pi. Bit hard to tell. And maybe a love message. R love C, not quite sure what that means, but very cute. And to say hi to everybody who's watching, a big hand. But seriously, what are these aircraft really used for? This is an interesting film about some future applications of high altitude, long endurance, unmanned aircraft. Above the clouds, up in the sky, bordered by space is the stratosphere. SoftBank's next generation telecom system, high altitude platform station, HAPS, with 78 meters of wingspan and 10 propellers. HAPS is a lightweight aircraft flying at 110 kilometers per hour. The large wing surface is covered by solar panels. In the stratosphere, there is plenty of sunlight during daytime, and the weather is mild throughout the year with little change in the wind speed. This condition makes a long-term, stable flight possible. The aircraft flying in a certain area for months, powered completely by the sun. One HAPS operates as a cell site with radio coverage of 200 kilometers in diameter, which delivers a telecom network serving the entire ground. Standby aircrafts are always ready to take off for maintenance and emergencies to offer constant stable services to customers. As close as 20 kilometers to the ground, 
HAPS realizes low latency, high quality telecommunications. HAPS uses the same frequency with the one from on-ground cell sites, so existing devices will work without any upgrade. A system is used where HAPS does not interfere with the on-ground cell sites. Seamless handover between cells allows users to continue enjoying communications. Whether it's urban or rural areas, in light aircrafts and drones, the combination of HAPS and on-ground cell sites will cover human activities from the ground up to the sky. HAPS can serve as critical rescue and recovery infrastructure to bring stable telecommunications to people. It will also be an essential tool for remote monitoring in isolated islands, for IoT devices used for farming, dairying, and many other future IoT communications. HAPS will be able to provide high-quality services in developing countries short of telecom infrastructure. HAPS will soon make a super-wide area telecom network into reality. Various field tests have been carried out and are in the final stage. Ever extending human activities around the world. With HAPS, there are no boundaries in the future telecom network. HAPS will lead an information revolution a revolution spreading happiness for everyone is about to begin. SoftBank will continue to create a broader future.